everyone, so today for our next activity, this is probably my kind of activity. Um, we're doing baking, we're baking, what are we making? Uh, rainbow cake. Rainbow cookies, not cake. Just as good though. Um, yeah, so we're making rainbow cookies and yeah, this is definitely my kind of activity. Anything you can make um, and obviously eat is just the best thing. And these look so, so good. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background, it's a bit noisy. Um, so I'll just start off by showing you what you need. So you'll need 400 grams of plain flour, um, you need 200 grams of um, unsalted at room temperature butter, um, you'll then need 150 grams of caster sugar, um, 2 teaspoons of vanilla, and then obviously you'll need your um, food colourings, I'm using these gel ones which are from Wilton. I'll leave them in the link below so you can um, purchase them if you want to. So we've got red, yellow, green, purple, blue and orange. Yeah? So that's our colours of the rainbow. We're going to do six layers. Um, and you need like a hand, hand whisk or a mixer or you could probably just do this by hand. Um, extra flour and then obviously a big bowl. So the first thing you need to do is add in your 200 grams of butter. Do you want to add that into the bowl? Out. And then violet, you're going to add the sugar. This is 150 grams of caster sugar. Can I add that in? Do you want me to help? Ready? And then I'd say this is the mummy bit. If you want to use a hand whisk or electric whisk, this is the bit that you do. Obviously, these two are a little bit um, young to help with the whisk just in case they stick their hands in. Um, so I'm going to get on and mix that up. But like I said, you can do this by hand if you want to. I'm just going to just find it a bit more quicker and it sort of makes it a bit more fluffier. So once it starts looking very sort of creamy, starts getting all thick, that's pretty much when it's done. So I actually forgot you need mm. one egg as well. So do you want to crack the egg in? Well done. Any shell in there? Nope. Right, and then you need to add two teaspoons of vanilla. Me. Do you want to hold the spoon? Hold it. Put it over the bowl. Yeah. And then Violet can mix it. Can you mix that in, Violet? Oh. Can I help? Yeah, you can help. Okay. So let them mix that in together. So once it's all fully uh, mixed in and it looks like a little, it kind of looks quite a wet paste, you want to add in your 400 grams of plain flour. Do you want to add this in now, Estelle? Should we get Violet's early? Yeah. Should you do half each? Yeah. Yeah. Go on then, you have a roll. Your hands are all slippery, aren't they? Oh! I'm going to let Violet do that bit. Violet do that bit? So you want to mix that in and it should form a really nice thick dough. So then you want to start getting your hands in and it starts combining to see it's coming together like a dough. That's it. Yeah, you do it. And it's a spiky move. And it's a spiky move. Mummy as well. 
you've got one. Right, so we've got six balls. And now what you need to do is decant the colour. I'm actually using the gel. Um, oh, blue. You want to do blue first? Yeah. We'll do yours first. Okay, so I'm using the gel um, food colourings. These are kind of natural. They don't stain your hands as bad as like the liquid ones, which is good. Um, and they're very vibrant. You don't need much. So I'm just going to use the back end, um, the end of the spoon. And let's just make a little well and put in the colour. And then all Alistair needs to do is knead it, just keep kneading and the colour will come through. Yeah, Mai, what colour would you like? Blue. Alistair's already got blue. What other colour? Oh, wait, yellow. Uh, blue. Yellow? Yeah. Yeah? It won't. <laughs> What you want me to be. Right, give yours a good mix as well. So once you've got your beautiful colourful uh, dough balls of the colours of your choice, it didn't take long just to work in the colour. Um, what you need to do now is put each dough ball into clean film and stick them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to do that. There's one. I don't mind the one by my own. Put yours in there. Good girl. Well done. So once your dough's been in the fridge for about half an hour, they will just firm up and it's just easier to sort of, I don't know, uh, roll out and cut into pieces. So I'm going to get on and roll these out. I think it's a lot easier because obviously it's quite fiddly and the kids, they just want to play with it like dough. So it's just easier if I get on and do this bit. So they're obviously nice and firm now, which is really good. You just want to flour your surface and you want to start rolling them out into sort of rectangles and you don't want them to be too thin obviously because then it will start cracking. Um, but you can obviously, um, if it does start to crack, just, you know, you can just stick it back together. It's easily done. Okay, so that's how it looks once it's laid up. It's not the prettiest looking thing straight away, but once you cut, start cutting, it starts looking a bit better. Um, if you want to just flatten it down just to make sure they, you know, obviously are like combined together. You don't want them falling apart. Um, the warmth any, anyway will help sort of conjoin them. Um, so I'm just going to use a sharp knife and I'm just going to start cutting little little biscuits. So I've just laid out a big tray and I just sprayed some olive oil on um, just so they don't stick. Oh, see they look like cute little rainbows, look how cute they look. And I'm just going to pop them on the baking tray. And these should take about 8 to 10 minutes, not very long at all, in a 180 degree oven. So these are the kiddies creations. I think they actually look so cool, like how marbled they are. So we finished the biscuits. Um, this is definitely a little bit more time consuming activity, but I have to say they turned out so, so well. Obviously I had to do the layering bit just because it's too difficult for the kids to do. But how do they taste? Mm. Are they really good? Yeah. Um, I haven't tried one yet, so maybe I'll try one. Very on par with a, um, a shortbread biscuit because they're very buttery. Mm, pretty good. Mm. I think we might have to make these again. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you for the next activity. Say bye. 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 These were the kiddies creations. They've turned out really, really well as well. Nice little marbled sort of biscuits.